Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this interesting problem. We have been given triangle ABC in which AB equal to AC and BC equal to AB plus AI where I is the in center of the triangle ABC. Then what is the measure of angle A? Let's try to understand the problem. We have been given a triangle ABC. We have been given AB equal to AC and we also know that BC equal to AB plus AI where I is the in center of triangle ABC. Now this problem can be solved by using different concepts. At ninth grade level CBSE you can use cyclic quadrilaterals and circle properties to solve this. At 10th grade concept we can use Pythagoras theorem and angle bisector theorems. At 11th grade you can solve this by using properties of triangles the relation between in radius and circum radius. In this session or in this particular video we will try to solve this by using 10th grade concepts that is angle bisector theorem and Pythagoras theorem. So let's have a look at the problem. We know that I is the angular bisector point of intersection of angular bisectors that means I is in center. Once we know I is in center then we know these two angles should be equal also these two angles should be equal. So let's go ahead and write them down. Let us say this angle is X this angle is also X and let's extend AI to meet on the other side. What happens? Let us see. Okay, and let this point be D. Okay, now what we know? We know AB equal to AC. AB equal to AC means base angles are equal. It's an isosceles triangle. So this angle will be 2x. Now, we also know that AD is also angular bisector because AD is passing through I and I is point of intersection of angular bisectors. That means the angle here also should be divided into two equal parts. Since it is an isosceles triangle, 2x here, 2x here, total will be 4x. So this should be 180 minus 4x divided by 2 that should be 90 minus 2x and 90 minus 2x. So let's write down that this is 90 minus 2x and this is also 90 minus 2x degrees. Now by angle sum property we can very clearly see that angle at D or ADC or ADB are both of them are equal to 90 degrees. So these two angles are equal to 90 degrees. We can also see another way. We know that AB equal to AC and AD is angular bisector. That means BC should be divided into two equal parts BD and DC. That means AD ADC triangle and ADB triangle will be congruent to each other. So obviously we will have angle equal to 90 degrees. Okay, fine. So let's write down what we understood. So first thing what we understood is AB is equal to AC. AB equal to AC. That gave us two things. One angle D or angle ADC or angle ADB equal to 90 degrees because we know that AI is angular bisector and we got the angles based on that. Okay, fine. Now, what is the information that has been given to us? We know now that angle D is a 90 degrees that means we can apply Pythagoras theorem and uh, keep it ready. So what we know is AB square is equal to AD square plus BD square. That is one information I can get. 
Another information is what they have given us that BC equal to AB plus AI but we know these two parts are equal. We know that these two are equal because D is the midpoint. So can we write down BC as two times of BD? So then I can say 2BD equal to AB plus AI. I can write down 2BD equal to AB plus AI. This is our second condition what we are going to use. Can we get any third condition? The third condition what we can get is we can use angle bisector theorem and now BI is the angular bisector and it is made up of angle is made up of BD and DB and AB. So AD is divided by I in the ratio of BD by AB that is angle bisector theorem. What angle bisector theorem says is that the angle bisector divides the opposite side in the ratio of in the ratio of the sides which make that particular angle. So now can I go ahead and write down BD divided by AB is equal to ID divided by AI. Now we have here two variables ID and AI but we have AI already we know in terms of BD and AB. So what we will do we will try to eliminate ID there. So we will just add 1 on both the sides. Let us say 1 plus on both the sides see what happens. Then it will become that will become AB plus BD by AB. AB plus BD by AB equal to AI plus ID. AI plus ID is equal to AD. AD divided by AI. So we are able to get our AI in terms of in terms of AB, BD and AD. Now let's go ahead and try to solve this. We will use AB, BD, AD. So we will repre replace AI with 2BD minus AB. What we will get is we will have AB plus BD divided by AB is equal to AD divided by AI. AI is 2BD minus AB. Now let us do cross multiplication. What we will have? 2 into AB into BD minus AB square plus 2BD square minus AB into BD is equal to AB into AD. Let us simplify that. We will have we have 2 AB BD and we have AB BD so we can subtract it. So we will have AB into BD AB into BD minus AB square plus 2 BD square. Now AB square I can write it as AD square plus BD square. That is we are leveraging the first condition Pythagoras theorem minus a d square minus b d square plus 2 b d square minus a b into a d equal to 0. Now let us see can we get simplify this one more step we will write down that is equal to a b into b d minus b d square plus 2 b d square is plus b d square minus a d square then we have minus a b dot a d so equal to 0. Now in this if you observe b d square minus a d square can be written as b d plus a d into b d minus a d and I can take b d a b common then I can write it as b d minus a d. So let's go ahead and do that. That way I can get b d minus a d common. So what it will become now? If I take from the first and last term a b common I will have a b into b d minus a d plus BD minus AD into BD plus AD equal to 0. BD minus AD into BD plus AD equal to 0. Let's go to the next step. 
So if you take BD minus AD common, what will happen after this? We take BD minus AD common, what is left out is AB plus BD plus AD equal to 0. We know that sum of three lengths can never be equal to 0. That means BD minus AD should be equal to 0. That means we know BD equal to AD. If BD equal to AD, then triangle ABD will become isosceles. If triangle ABD becomes isosceles, then we know that base angles are equal. That means 90 minus 2x is equal to 2x. That means 90 degrees equal to 4x. Then from that, what is our angle at A? Angle at A is 180 minus 4x, 180 minus 4x degrees, but we know 4x is 90 degrees. So 180 minus 90, 180 minus 90 degrees, which is equal to 90 degrees. So angle A is equal to 90 degrees. Let's have a recap of what we have done with this problem. So what we have been given first, we have been given a triangle ABC. We were told that I is the in center of the triangle and AI and BI are the two angular bisectors. And we also have been given that ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB equal to AC. So we want to solve this problem using 10th grade concepts that is angle bisector theorem and Pythagoras theorem. So what we have done, by the definition we know that angular bisector divides the angle into two equal parts. So we have taken x and x here. Since we know that AB equal to AC, base angles are equal, therefore this angle becomes 2x. Now consider these two triangles. We also know that AI is also angular bisector. So by angle sum property, we have 90 minus 2x and 90 minus 2x. That means angle at D becomes 90 degrees and BD becomes equal to DC. Now, what we want to prove, we have to find out the angle at A. So we want to consider this triangle ABD. Now, what are the conditions we have? One Pythagoras theorem we have, AB square equal to AD square plus BD square. The second one, we can use the angle bisector theorem at B and write down BD by AB is equal to ID by AI. Since ID is unknown to that, unknown to us, we just want to avoid it. So we added one so that we can go to AI plus ID equal to AD. Now only one variable we have that is other than AB, BD, AD, that is AI. But that can be easily eliminated by the given condition that 2BD equal to AB plus AI. So we have leveraged that. We have replaced AI with 2BD minus AB. Then we did cross multiplication. We simplified it. We applied, we leveraged AB square equal to AD square plus BD square. We are able to get BD minus AD common. Once we are able to get BD minus AD is common, since the other term can not be equal to 0, BD should be equal to AD. That means triangle ABD is an isosceles triangle. That means base angles are equal. That means 90 minus 2x equal to 2x or 90 degrees equal to 4x. What we need to find out is angle A. Angle A is 180 minus 4x, but that should be equal to 180 minus of 90, 90 degrees. So answer for this angle A is equal to 90 degrees. So please do let me know feedback on this particular video. I tried to explore the solution for this, but I was unable to find out in net any solution at 10th grade level. So I just thought let me try to solve this problem. So let me know your feedback whether you are able to understand this does it make sense or not. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.